EPA's decision to review several aspects of its biofuel program in recent days are just one of the many challenges facing the industry. RFD TV's Sarah Mock explains. After Brazilian authorities approved a 20% tariff on U.S. biofuel imports, industry representatives call for farmers to step up. Literally um, cutting out U.S. grain from being able to go into the Brazilian market while Brazil is exporting large volumes of ethanol to California as we speak. Uh, I, I think it's a misuse of power on behalf of the Brazilians. And I think American farmers should be talking to their congressmen and senators uh, in the White House about that problem. But getting shut out of foreign markets is just the beginning. Renewable fuel levels announced earlier this year dismayed the ag community, spurring more groups to back the policy. The EPA reduces the total renewable fuel volume. As such, the overall proposal falls short of preserving the integrity of the RFS, which is to drive the biofuels market and to grow the industry. As family farmers navigate a severely depressed farm economy, this is a time the administration should be raising expectations for a policy that drives many economies in rural America. And industry representatives say supporting biofuels isn't just good for farmers. It's also critical for rural communities. It has um, helped us to balance ag commodity supplies and really resulted in the good years we had uh, in the last decade. Today we're facing an oversupply situation uh, in agriculture uh, where there are far too many commodities available both in the U.S. and around the world. And it's going to be critical to increase um, the volumes uh, of biofuels used in this country in the next several years to balance commodity supplies. Broin says investing in biofuels also pays off as advanced technologies lead to new economic opportunities. In the future we'll be using uh, cellulosic components as well which brings a brand new source of income to the American farmer. So uh, around Emmitsburg, Iowa, where today we're using uh, about 700 bone dry tons a day at that facility, um, we're creating a brand new source of revenue for farmers. And I think in the future, the great thing is we can replace more and more oil. Uh, farmers are going to need a higher and higher percentage of the gas tank, which is good. It's good for air quality. It's good for our balanced trade. It's good for national security. It's good for creating jobs. The livestock industry continues to be a critic of the renewable fuel standard saying it artificially raises the price of livestock feed. But Bruin warns that begrudging grain farmers a profit now will likely have long-term negative effects on the industry as a whole. For RFD-TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington.